such trouble you've caused. Thanks to you, I'm forced to show myself. Minazuki. We are showing Minazuki. Okay, I'm going with either split personality or his persona has a conscience. One of the two. Let's see. So there are two personalities within you. There we go. You have a split personality. There we go. That isn't strictly correct. I awakened within this child, and I exist to grant his wish. That's why I'm using that thing. Wait, so... I'm gonna take that as you being his persona. Like, you, like I'm, I'm gonna take... Just the way you phrase it as I awaken within him, instead of just split personality. I t I'm gonna take that as you being his persona's conscience. And that's why you can use a persona, but he can't. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going for stre I'm going for stretches here. That thing. This child's heart was warped due to great suffering at the hands of man. I must eradicate all that lives to win back peace for him. What good will it do to make the world that way? Humans can't live on their own. That's your perspective. He's unlike you, though, and requires help from no one. Are you that scared of a world with no allies? You're wrong. People grow by living together with others. That's how they're able to better themselves. As I said, that's your perspective. Sadly, you have no more friends to save you. Seeing as none of them are rushing in, your other friends must have fallen somewhere along the line. You're on the brink of death. What use would you be? Actually, perhaps you were a hindrance to begin with. Isn't that right, Narukami? Since you seem more accomplished than that. Then you'll be able to fight freely. Or yeah. are you unable to fight properly without these bonds you speak of? He has the wild card, so technically but yes. Your weakness is propped up by others. Again. As is the rest of yours. Protecting your wounded comrades will result in your... That's literally how the persona... Well, I say the persona, I don't know about one or two. But that's how the protags for three and four work. Literally, they require friendship.
persona. Izanagi! Persona! Persona! Okay, no. I was sitting, I was like, is... Is Adachi gonna jump in and be like, alright, that's enough. But no, okay. Yukum! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadows wasn't enough. Don't move. I still love the idea that Adachi is just sitting there just watching this. He has no input. He's just like, okay, let's just kick back and see how this plays out. No need for histrionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Narukami first? <laughs> Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. Okay. No. Why are you here? Ah! Whoa! What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. So did it actually technically save us? Or was he being pragmatic? And I was like, no, listen, the plan, though. Hey, hold it! You truly love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there are enough Persona fragments now. I have no need to deal with you anymore. What is this? Uh, my... my legs... Uh, this again? Could Adachi move when that was happening? I'll take over from here. Let's begin. Okay. Okay then. Seriously, how much how often are you gonna reuse this? It's 
Suda-san? No, that's a fake. W where's Minazuki? He's gone already. Hey, not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? I, lo I love this. He's just sitting on the sidelines like, you know you guys. You know you guys who could get killed, right? Do you really think this is a good idea? He's not involved. He's just watching and commentating. Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that breath. I mean, don't you think it's a little late? He said he has all the Persona fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing, and then jam the fragments he's gathered into. It might have hurt. What was that for? You, you speak too much, much insult. insult. Should, Should I deal with you instead? Whoa, no way! Where'd you get that idea? All right then. I did try to warn you guys. I also like how he's speaking too much. It's actually just something he does. It wasn't him as a murderer being like, hey guys, guys, murder though. He just does that. Look, look, I don't, I do not care. Or not, fuck. You know what, why do I bother? Why do I bother? In any case, let's sort the situation out. Sho is conspiring with the other Minazuki, and they enveloped this town in red fog. They then set things up so that we would fight our fakes here. When Persona users fight inside the red fog, their Persona is carved off into fragments, which are being harvested at the top of this tower. So the whole time, this P1 Climax was just to gather our Persona fragments, right? Right. Then Sho and Minazuki are planning on using the gathered Persona fragments on whatever it is they're summoning with this tower. But what's Sho going through so much fuss to summon? How they intend to use the Persona fragments on the summoned entity, and what effects it'll have, remain to be seen. Yeah, but Minazuki said he was going to eradicate all living things by summoning this being. We can't let that happen. Minazuki's trying to fix it so no one else but Sho exists anymore, right? That's pretty serious. If that's what he's up to, we don't have much time left. We gotta hurry and stop him! Oh, hold on a sec. Um, there's something I was wondering about. Huh? What is it? Yeah, um, 
That Minazuki guy told you he didn't have a split personality, right, Yukon? Yeah, I definitely heard him say that. And, um, that's what made me think that maybe there's a plume of dusk stuck in him. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well I told Naoto-kun this before, but the plume of dusk has to do with creating iguses in my hearts, right? When I met Minazaki, the plume of dusk inside me resonated, like when I first met Igis. So if Sho doesn't have split personality, but that Minazaki was a personality that showed up later, it got me wondering. Huh? But how? Why? No, it's possible, thinking about it. Itsuru-san suspected that Labrus's kidnapper had ties to the Kirijo group. I looked into it as well. But during the reign of Koetsu Kirijo, Mitsuru-san's grandfather, a CEO of the Kirijo group, they performed many inhumane experiments, which led to the various shadow-related crises that Mitsuru-san's group continues to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if Sho was a victim of one of the experiments from that time. Okay. So, are you saying Sho had one of those plume thingies stuck into him as an experiment? According to my theory, yes. Seriously? Either way, we must hurry on. If we can rescue Mitsuru-san, she may be able to tell us more. So I was somewhat on track with the Strager thing then. He has he was an experimented motherfucker. It's probably not by Akutsuki. Or maybe, who knows? We're at the end. There's a door. This is the door to the rooftop, right? I'm going to open it. Okay. Is this? It's not part of Yasogami High. That much is certain. I've never seen this area before. Hey! Over there! <gasps> is that Mitsuda san? Deploying in close battlefield. You will go no further. I, I don't know why, but this is irritating me. It's the reuse of this single still image. I've been waiting for you, sister. You ain't Igis. You're a fake too. Indeed, I am a fake. Sister, but, but is the, the distinction, distinction necessary for us? What? We are weapons forged in the shape of humans. Aren't we all fakes from the start? Hey! Thanks. Get metaphysical up in here. Have you forgotten? 
We have no comrades. You even fought and killed your sister, you mid snow. Damn it! Labrys, don't listen to her! It's okay, Yosuke. What? But... Labrys will be alright. I mean, if she accepted it, that doesn't mean she's overcome it. What's wrong, sister? Do you not hate humans? Yeah. I do hate humans. Then? But not like how you mean it. Sister? As much as I got a grudge against humans, it was humans that saved me. Yeah, the ones who made me did horrible things to me. To all the ones of my model. But hating all humans because of them is wrong. I like you, Kumi, and Mitsuru-san, and all the rest of them. It ain't right for you to destroy the world they all live in. How unfortunate. I would have thought that you could understand my master, Show Minazuki's desire for solitude. Uh, his solitude? Don't waste your breath. I will see you die here, sister. Oh god. Naoto, I'm counting on you. Oh god. You have to tell me. Okay, this is going to be a fight. Naoto-kun? <laughs> Nonsense. Let's make ourselves clear. As long as we're around, we won't allow you to so much as lay a finger on Labrys. I don't know what kind of solitude you or your creator is suffering, but we don't lightly forgive anyone who hurts our friends. Then there is nothing more to discuss. Releasing limiters, switching to battle mode, annihilating targets. Do you need to switch to battle mode? Why are you giving me options? Why are you giving me no <laughs> I'm doing it for story. But do you need to switch to battle mode? Really? You're a shadow mate. Do you need that shit? Do you need that shit in your life? Final Fight! Let's go! I must do it! I was lucky I switched from shooting upwards to ricocheting off the floor. Because I was trying to shoot forwards. Mitsuru-san! Where am I? La 
Labrys, you came. Mitsura-san, are you all right? Y yes But aren't you all a bit too close? I'm so glad. I'm sorry I'm late. Jeez, look how beat up you are. Thank you, Labrys. Narukami, I thank you and your friends as well. But first, I must apologize. I said I would guarantee your security, but see how that turned out. We had almost identified the culprit, but... <laughs> what are you saying? You don't have to apologize now. Nobody cares. Show me Nazuki, huh? How ironic that he would mimic his father's actions. I was right, I was right, I was right. This motherfucker is Ikutsuki's son. I see. Shuji Akutsuki was his... The Kirijo group once had a branch specializing in shadow research. It was the Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory, Ergo Research for short. My grandfather, Koetsu Kirijo, provided Ergo Research with a vast budget to perform various experiments over many years. Experiments like Labrys and Igus, anti-shadow suppression weapons with humanoid bodies that harbor personas. As well as countless inhumane experiments, such as creating artificial persona users through suppressants. Show Minazuki. His name was recorded in the Ergo Research Archives as the youngest test subject. Shuji Ikutsuki was the researcher of record. Afterwards, Ergo Research was dissolved in an explosive accident, burying their research. In the confusion, Ikutsuki saved some of it. And that included Sho Minazuki. Yes, there's more to the story, but I've confirmed this much in what we've deciphered thus far of Ikutsuki's personnel file. Ekuski was behind Strager and this motherfucker right here. Think about that shit. That man was on layers. That man was on layers of bullshit. Shomi Nazuki seems to have been Ekutsuki's favorite test subject. Test subject? But he's a person! How could he do such a horrible thing? The Kirijo group of the time was an evil place, suffused with his arrogance. It isn't hard to imagine how he was treated with Ekutsuki in charge. Minazuki was raised in a solitary environment, never interacting with anyone. I suspect his experiences from that time greatly affected the development of Minazuki's current personality. Mitsuru-san, these experiments they did on show, were they really related to the Plume of Dusk? That's correct. The central thrust of the experiment was to embed a Plume of Dusk into Minazuki. No way! So that's what the Minazuki personality is?! Um, can I ask you something? Do you have any details about whatever it is he's trying to summon? No, I know nothing about that. But if 
it similar to what we encountered at Tartarus. It's nothing welcome. That was only to be expected, since Sho's desire is to destroy the world. Senpai, I finally got a hold of you! I'm so glad you're safe! Boys, Rise, you're all right. Mitsuru Senpai, are you okay? I was worried, you know. Is that you, Yukari? You came. I'm sorry, but no. Thank you. You're always such a help to me. I mean, apart from that one time when she wanted to damn mankind to all hell to get some dick, but yeah. <laughs> I'm fine too. Kikuno-san has evacuated to safety as well. Yamagishi, thank goodness. It seems I've also put you in danger. No, I forgot to connect you to Kanji and the others. The senpai, Teddy and I guess are safe too. Just a sec, I'll put you in contact with them. Senpai! Sorry we're late. <laughs> Sensei! <laughs> Damn it, Teddy, I told you to quit rubbing your runny nose on me! I mean, you've remembered that twice now. I just wonder what it's happening. Because if, if it ain't Nyx, what is it? They're bringing Erebus down? They're gonna bring Erebus down back. Like, hey, Erebus, sort this shit out. Sister, you came to rescue us. Thank you. I'm alright. I was really worried about you. Man, it's getting crowded here. You guys really know who's who? You're the only one who doesn't, Junpei-san. Though there are a few I haven't personally met yet either. <laughs> it seems everyone's alright. You have the devil's luck. No one was like, wait, that's a dog? <laughs> that's a dog now? Don't let your guard down yet. The battle isn't over. Mitsuru son. I'd like to talk to you about Sho. You wish to save him yourself. Is that what you were about to say? Uh huh? <laughs> it's written all over your face. It would hardly be a surprise to hear you say it. There are many things to sympathize with regarding Minazuki's past. He too is a victim of the Kirijo group's dark side. Still, that does not give him license to endanger the world or hurt people. It doesn't change the fact that he is an enemy who must be defeated. Yet, you still wish to save him, correct? Yes.
Either way, things must be settled with Minazaki. We should brace ourselves. What about Adachi? What's he doing? We can't lose this one. Is he gonna, is he gonna go back to prison after this? Or is he just gonna walk off and be like, Alright, bye. Alright, bye. See ya. I'm done. Getting stronger. Huh? This is, is careful, everyone. It stinks of shadows. What? what? This can't be. What's wrong, Kujikawa? It's shadows. Countless shadows are gathering at this tower. What? I'm picking up shadow readings. 20, 30, they keep coming! We can't stop them! The shadows are passing through here. It looks like they're heading to the top of the tower. Wait. What's wrong, Risei? What's this? The shadows that were already at the top are merging together! But yeah, where's Adachi? Did he just leave? This is still one of P4's best tracks. Fuck. Fuck your new world's fall. It's all about the almighty. Closest to the top. <laughs> You're right. Mitsuru, this is no time to fool around. Leave this to us so you can get to the roof. We're at the roof. What? What? Mitsuru Senpai, you can't lose focus. Don't worry, we're pretty tough. I know about that. Yukari. All right. It's a bit lonely here, but I'll do my best for your sake, Sensei. Teddy. Go, young man. There's no time to be indecisive. The bases are loaded, so go out swinging! Fair enough. Fair enough, Junpei. All three groups separate and intercept the shadows. Yamagishi, Yukari, Kujikawa. Head to the lower levels. Destroy the enemy, but take caution. Akihiko, work with those on the middle level and block as many shadows as you can. Don't bother giving chase to whatever gets past you. We'll remain here and intercept the shadows as Narukami advances to the highest point of the tower. This is basically... You're the most injured of us all, and considering your skill, you're the most logical choice to send. This is basically the ending of the P3 movies. This place. It's just we're all hold off the point. shadows, Makoto. Oh, go! For our sake. I'm counting on you, Yukon. You can't let Sho get his way. Go put an end to this. I also want to point out the ending of that. The ending of the last P3 movie was awesome, where everyone was just like, "Okay, we'll hold off this torrent of shadows, Makoto. Fight Nix yourself." You understand, right? Don't do anything reckless. And I understand. I'll come back. If I can't do it, then I'll ask for help. There's no shame in leaning on your friends after all. No matter how many times I fail or make mistakes, I can do anything with them. I won't give up. Mm. I knew someone was who I suspect thought the same way. Like I said, Makoto! For Narukami. Is everyone in place? Yeah! Yes! Of course! Leave it to us. Once we get the signal, everyone attack! Here goes! 
goes. One, two... I was about to say, where's the to be continued? I'm sorry, where does that lead? Okay, but where does that lead? Or is, or is that the team coming together? Oh no, that's the team coming together. Okay. Ooh. We getting there. We getting there, lads.